Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everybody. It is um, Thursday. Wow, I should have checked all my facts before I started filming. It is Thursday, and I am staying in the flat today because I need to pack because I will be going back to North Wales on Sunday, and this will be the first lot of stuff leaving the flat before I graduate in July. Honestly, this place is an absolute tip. It needs sorting out. Like, my girlfriend's gonna watch this and be like, Hannah, babe, I was there like three days ago. Why is it such a mess already? I don't know. I don't know. It just happens. But basically, I just wanted an excuse to talk about this little city because I'm gonna miss it a lot. I might be here next year anyway. I'm applying for a master's degree here, so I might be sticking around. But if, if you know, the good shit happens, I'm gonna be in Manchester, so... I wanted to take this opportunity to talk about Leicester and how much I've really actually enjoyed living here for the last three years. First things first though, I should probably get dressed because I am not one of those people that can be productive in their pyjamas, so. Um, I have to sort of clarify that this video is 100% inspired by Louise Pentland, aka Sprinkle of Glitter's speed cleaning video. Like, girl, you're never gonna watch this, but your weekly videos literally make me get up on a Sunday, I'm not even joking. And like, the laundry sections, like, they just make me die. Like, I'm not a mother of two, obviously. Yes, I, like, live in a flat and I can take, take some advice there, but there's just something about watching a lovely person get really excited about laundry that is just so pleasing to me. <laughs> now, people who know me will not believe this, but I actually really enjoy cleaning what I hate is tidying. There is absolutely nothing more tedious to me than tidying up, like to the point where it makes me angry, genuinely angry when I have to tidy up. But cleaning is so satisfying. In fact, that'll be alarm number 76 of the day. Just putting that out there. My job where I work is to clean. And I really, really enjoy it, weirdly enough. Like, I could be one of those people who, like, goes into new houses just to clean them before people move in. Like, I would happily do that. Just sit there and, like, scrape the mould off the walls. Leicester's a little city, or at least it's little to me. I'm used to Manchester and Liverpool, the big industrial cities. And Leicester is a little baby compared to that but in some ways it's ended up being bigger. There's more people here. That adds expanses that have grown every year. In one direction my university, another the city, another my girlfriend, another my best friend. It's like they're drawing a star with a special person at the apex of each arm. It doesn't lack in charm either. Like most places, you just have to go looking for it. There's that little alleyway down the side of the cathedral leading over to Kank Street. There's Castle Mott, hidden away but one of the quietest and most special places in Leicester. I found my home away from home in those coffee shops on Broadstone Gate and Market Street. Take a second to appreciate that I have more than an entire small suitcase of books at uni. This is like a small amount of books compared to the books I have in North Wales. Like, I think I'm starting to actually realise how many books I own, and it's a little bit excessive. I've <laughs> screamed my frustrations out to my chemical romance in the nightclub I know better than any other. I cried happy tears walking through the park during my first ever proper snowfall this winter. I got soaked walking back in the rain through another after a completely failed outing to Birmingham two years ago. I wrote poetry about the river and the sky and the stupid amount of students that occupy the stupid amount of accommodation buildings around me. When I say I live on Oxford Street, I used to get an excited gasp until I said, no, not that Oxford Street. It used to make me feel disappointed. Now, I sort of love it. It's my Oxford Street, and I've adored every second of watching the street lights turn red, amber, green at 2am when I've been too stressed out of my mind to sleep. I should probably have done a bit of like before and after but basically I mean it doesn't look that much tidier considering how much I have just taken out of this room. <laughs> a little bit ridiculous how much stuff is still left in here but 
is fine. It will be fine. I'm gonna leave all of the big cleaning till like Saturday afternoon because I don't see the point. I'm a really messy cooker for one, so I was like, I'm not gonna clean the kitchen because it's just gonna be pointless. It's just gonna get messy again. And I'm not gonna hoover through until I change my bedding and stuff. And that's currently in the washing machine, so. Please ignore my washing machine. It's just, it's just doing its thing. It's just going on in the background. I'm no stranger to packing. I've moved house twice, although I don't remember the first time. The second time I was 16, no, 15. When I moved to uni, I was 19. And I moved into this flat when I was 20. But I did technically have to move out of this flat over the last last summer and then move back into it, which I know makes zero sense, but it's student housing. For anyone who doesn't know, I'm 21 and I will be 22 on the 30th of June this year. So that's in like three months. Ah! I really, enjoy packing because it's like tidying you just you find things that's why i hate tidying because i'll find things and then ow oh i just spilled tea all over myself i find things and then i spend half an hour sitting with said things notebooks i am the absolute worst for finding notebooks and just sitting there reading i also weirdly love that time when you're like all of my stuff is like here now so like you can't see all of it but there's like three boxes here and then I've got two suitcases over here and now like the majority of the stuff I'm taking back this holiday. I don't know if I've ever talked about how obsessed I am with liminal spaces. I have on Tumblr and in poems but I don't think I've ever verbally talked about it but I love that time where you're just hanging around and things are like half packed up and stuff. I don't know why I enjoy that so much. Maybe I should reflect on that. I've really enjoyed living in this flat it's tiny and i think if there were more than two introverts living here we would probably have killed each other by the time we graduate but as it is you just you learn to live in a space does anyone else get that how, how you sort of learn to live in a space considering i've lived with quite a few people over the last few years you you learn to live with people but the space you have to learn to live with and in as well and the space sort of adapts to you as much as you adapt to the space last year our second year wasn't so great for us in the brain department and i think this year we've learned that maybe that could have been helped if we'd really taken advantage of the space we do have like last year we, we didn't even sit on this couch together, I used to sit in an armchair, a wheelie chair, next to the couch. This year we have our doors open a lot more, so even if we are in separate rooms we're still sort of hanging out together. Been a lot more economic with food storage and stuff this year, we've shared a lot more, we've cooked together a lot more. I wash a machine, I've got sirens, like what else, you wanna just throw a circus in as well, yeah? Alright. I've also cleaned a lot more this year and I think in a space this small you really really have to but it really feels personal. I made a video about home a while ago, a couple of years ago, and then I made an updated video on home sort of more recently and I suppose at some point I should make another one because this place really did become a home more than my first year flat did because our first year flat began by the end of the year to feel really alien to us because we were alienated from some of our flatmates who we were very stressed and as much as it really was a milestone for me it didn't become the home that this flat has. You know, I lived here with my best friend and we've had the most incredible nights and mornings and afternoons here. We've cooked incredible food, we've watched incredible movies, we've cried, we've laughed. It's, it's been a a strange couple of years but it's been probably two of the most important years of my life so I don't think I can avoid having that sentiment tied up in the place. I think at the end of the day a house or a home is literally just what you make it. You could live in a penthouse and it'd be awful or you could live in this tiny flat like I do and it's amazing. It really is just what you make it. I mean this is no penthouse. You know, it's cold, it's drafty, nothing really works very well. Apart from the microwave, I will say the microwave is quite good. But I sort of love it. Anyway, that was my little packing adventure. I hope you enjoyed our little talk about the city and about this little flat. I really like place. I like talking about place. I like visiting places. I like writing about places. 
and I think this has been a really important one for me so I didn't want to let this opportunity slither out. Now I'm gonna get a chair and sit in front of this window because even though I won't actually be getting any vitamin D, at least I'll be warm, which will be a change, a nice change. So goodbye and I'll speak to you all soon. Seriously, the second I finish the video, you shut up.